It has now been one month since gunfire abruptly ended a Juneteenth gathering in Willowbrook. 23 shot. Nobody has been charged, and the lack of information from police since then is unsettling to those who were there, including Ashley Miller, whose fiancé, Ridgie Meadows, was killed. We lost. We lost a very important person in our lives. Like, the least we need to know is the updates. I have no answers to say to his beautiful children. You know, they took someone that was so peaceful, so loved by many. Also part of uh, Ben Bradley's piece on Channel 9, Eugene Roy retired as chief of detectives here in Chicago. He said, you know, with crimes like these... You better work quickly. You want to get to witnesses before they have selective amnesia, before they're intimidated, before they move away. You need, and while their memories are still fresh, you need to strike in a timely manner. Now joining us to advance the story or offer some edification and details, Ben Bradley, Emmy Award winning investigative reporter and member of uh, WGN's investigative team, co-anchor over there on Channel 9. Ben, thanks so much for your time. I know you're busy this afternoon, this time of day. So any additional information, any answers today? Uh, no, still no answers. And, you know, what's unusual is you know, we don't expect police to say, yeah, we've got a suspect and here's his name. We don't expect them to uh, share information that could compromise their investigation. But how the DuPage County Sheriff, Jim Mendrick, has handled this case is unlike any other, you know, high-profile mass shooting uh, that I have covered in that he has, one, not spoken publicly, two, uh, the sheriff's office has denied our open records requests for basic information that would help us understand what happened that night, 911 calls, complaints from people who live near that shooting scene in the hours leading up to it. You know, were, were people saying, hey, this crowd is getting too big. Hey, it's getting volatile and violent. Um, body camera, dash cam video from responding officers. And I think the big one is uh, dispatch logs, because we do know that DuPage County Sheriff's deputies were at this scene in unincorporated Willowbrook before the shooting because of the crowd size. Uh, and there was another call, and they left just before the shooting. Uh, and that's it. That's all we know. And to be clear, no one is saying it's the, uh, you know, uh, the sheriff's fault or police's fault for this shooting happening, what we're trying to understand is how the sequence of events played out. And for the 23 people who were shot there that night, for the family of the man Reggie Meadows who was killed, they say they too aren't getting a lot of answers. Ben Bradley is here from a WGN Television. A month after Willowbrook, 23 shot, one dead. I, I did see on your report Eugene Roy, a retired uh, chief of detectives here in Chicago, and he said, look, it's it's a massive amount of evidence that will take time to process. But he also said, and I played this for my listeners, uh, that uh, you better get to these witnesses quick before some of them have selective memory. It, it, for example, um, the fiance of Reggie Meadows, the man who was killed, she was at that gathering, that Juneteenth gathering um, in a strip mall in unincorporated Willowbrook. Uh, and she said um, that detectives have yet to interview her. She said she's reached out several times to police, you know, because she's frustrated. She wants answers. Uh, and, and, you know, there is, unfortunately, you know, a racial undertone to this. Can you imagine if 23 people were shot at a uh, picnic in, you know, uh, leafy DuPage County, uh, there would be, just as there were after the Highland Park shooting, there would be, you know, updates several times a day. There would be demands to understand how it happened, who's to blame, you know, how, how the police response went, et cetera. Uh, and those I spoke with um, say they feel like because this was a, a, a gathering on Juneteenth weekend that largely affected African Americans, um, they've heard nothing, and therefore they don't feel cared for uh, in the aftermath of this. 
has DuPage County Sheriff Jim Mendrick responded to that angle as far as saying, no, no, we're just trying to protect evidence and witnesses, and it's taking time to sort this through? His last um, statement to us was via a press release three weeks ago in which he said, we've had hundreds of investigators working on this around the clock. We've interviewed witnesses, potential suspects. Um, He says they're doing all the things that law enforcement should do. Uh, And I can tell you DuPage County board members and officials um, have had outreach meetings with people who live around the shooting scene. Um, but in terms of outreach from the sheriff himself, in terms of you know, responding to basic questions, uh, he has been unwilling to do that. And again, he says it's to protect the integrity of his investigation. And as Gene Roy, the former chief of detectives for Chicago, said, look, you're, you're a sheriff. You're the boss. And you got to understand there's a public facing component to your job and it's important that you're out there that you're out front that you're transparent and that you're letting people know that the cops are there they care and they're working uh, to to get justice when do you think you'll get a response to your request for the open records well not to get too into the weeds and bore you and your listeners about how this works is we file requests under the freedom of information act uh DuPage County Sheriff issued a blanket uh, denial for dispatch logs, for initial police reports, very basic things that are uh, usually released without any delay or issue. Because they denied it, we have appealed to the Illinois Attorney General's public access counselor, who traditionally has been pretty good about saying you know, to agencies, no, 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 this is overly broad. No, this won't compromise your investigation. Um, let's, let's, you know, come to, come to a a compromise that serves both needs. Well, it's a big story. It's still a big story. I hope you get your answers soon. We'll watch more on Channel 9. Ben Bradley, thank you very much. You better make your way to the anchor desk. Thanks, John.